Hey everyone, I'm Marianne Mitchell. Welcome to Whole Artist Mastery, which is all about owning your authenticity to make compelling work that conveys your unique voice. Many people ask me, how do you create the edges in your abstract paintings? For me, edges are a really important part of what I'm trying to convey in my paintings. And obviously, they're important to other people because a lot of people are asking, you know, how do you create dynamic movement in your edge? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. You have to consider that creating an edge is something that happens when two elements are coming together and the space between those elements is the edge. So because there are two elements coming together, it's important to work both sides of the edge so that the edge is like an organic outgrowth of these two elements coming together. I'm gonna to show you what I mean with this painting here. A crucial tool to make the edge work properly is a straight edge squeegee or bondo spreader or catalyst. I like the squeegees from the Cold Wax Academy. They are made of silicon and they're, they're bendy, but uh, I mean, they're flexible, but not too flexible. So I have some orange, light orange paint on here. And it's fairly thick, just a tiny drop of uh, walnut alkyd in the oil paint that I'm working with. And my objective here is to continue this uh, lighter color down, pulling it down like this. And then I'm going to come in with a darker color and go up and have this, this blue that's here and this sort of rough like edge remain and so that that means in order so i'm actually creating almost like a crevice here and then as i get up here i'm going to have the crevice slip behind the straight edge okay you'll see what i mean so i'm going to start here and pull down like this and go all the way across Pulling some of the thicker area away, like this. And I'm rubbing, I'm actually gonna pull a little bit more down, like this. I've yet to figure out what I'm gonna do below this, in this blue here. But by doing this, I might get some ideas about what to do with the blue area. Now see how I'm rubbing with the squeegee here? And this rubs out the tool marks that I've made with the squeegee and helps me finesse the edge a little bit like that. And you can also rub it in circles so that it, you don't see these edge marks that are here and you can actually see them here so then what I do is I take this tip which is bendy and kind of rub it in like this to get rid of the straight edge of the tool mark and I'm gonna come in and pull this down even more like that maybe across a little bit rubbing this so that I have some, some variety, some movement within this color. Now I can also come in with a rag and rub these tool marks out like that. Okay, do this. So now I'm going to turn the painting upside down like this and pull down with um, a dark color so, so here we go i'm going to leave some of this blue here like this and 
I'm going to change the width as I go. That's a really crucial element in making the edge have movement is so that it's a different width all the way across. So now it's up against the peach color. Pull this down. Pull this together. And so I will be showing a close up of this after I'm finished showing you how to actually make it happen. Now I'm working straight up against the peach here like this. This is the peach that was already there so that I can go right up against the edge. Actually, this, this peach is new, but this color is was here. And getting rid of that pointed area so that it's a smooth curve all the way across. And coming in here with a little more dark blue and finishing that. Now if I go up in the yellow, then I can Wrap it a little bit and create some movement, some roughness in that edge. So over here, it's very straight without any um, breaks in the peach edge. And over here now, there's a few little breaks in the edge, which gives it a little more dynamic quality over here. So, that's how it's done. So remember, when you're working an edge, when you're creating an edge, the edge is created by two elements coming together. And that the edge is actually an outgrowth that comes when these two elements are living side by side. So you want to consider both sides of the edge and how the movement on either side is creating something that's engaging in your painting and how it reflects the essence that you want to convey in your particular painting. So actually, I am planning to do another video that focuses on blended edges, how colors come together, how values come together without sharp edges defining the space. I actually use both in my work, so I invite you to go take a look at my website, MarianneMitchell.com, to see what I mean. So, if this was helpful and informative, I would love for you to press that little like icon and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Whole Artist Mastery. And also to go visit the Whole Artist Mastery website, which has some online classes that focus on visual grammar, visual language, developing your visual language, developing your understanding of color from a non-academic perspective, and if you're new to abstraction, the entering abstraction with oil pastels is a great way to loosen up, get underneath your mind, and allow your inner voice to come forward. Everyone I know who's taken this class has really enjoyed it, and you create gorgeous color. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.